All right, beef prices are now at record highs, and if you have purchased beef at the grocery store lately, you have been ripped off. And the reason you're able to be ripped off is because there is no longer a competitive marketplace for beef in this country. The people buying the cattle and selling the beef are not competing with each other. They are simply controlling the amount of beef in the supply chain to increase their profit margins. The reason they're able to do that is because there is too, there is not enough of them, um, and they all know they've gotten to. There's only four. There's uh, Tyson Foods, Cargill, JBS, and National, and they have all gotten so big that they know they're already breaking antitrust laws. They're breaking the Packers and Stockyards Act, and instead, so instead of competing for market share and trying to get bigger, they've decided they're just going to control the supply chain. And by controlling the supply, they control the demand, they control pricing, and they're now able to increase their profit margins to levels that nobody ever even would have imagined possible the, in the, a year or two ago. And so how this works, and there's also, it's just like any other corrupt corporation, they're going to have people that carry their water for them and make excuses that they've bought and paid for. There's people in ag media and at these ag universities and um, different associations, lobbyist groups that are going to come out and say, well, the market's real complicated and there's all these different variables and don't even try to understand it, but everything's working fine. But it's not complicated and it's easy to understand. It's just the same as any other market out there. It's just supply and demand. And so how I like to explain it is if you imagine yourself as a beef packer and you are butchering two head of cattle every day, and on those two head, you're making $200 per head. So you're making $400 a day and you're making a good living and a good profit. And all of a sudden something happens and now you're only able to make one, you're only able to butcher one head of cattle a day. And on that one head, because there's less supply of beef, you're able to increase your pricing and all of a sudden you're making $1,000 a day. And, and so your income has jumped at two head, 400, one head, 1,000. And now you've got less payroll, less facilities needed, less logistical issues, just less everything, and you're making more money. Are you going to be in a hurry to go back, uh, to go back and work harder for four hundred dollars a day, or are you going to want to sit on your thousand dollars a day and just rake it in as rake it in and just butcher that one? You're going to want to sit on a thousand dollars a day, but in a competitive marketplace, what you would have is somebody else would say they would want that market share they would want that shelf space and they would come in and they will butcher two four six eight whatever it took because you're in a competitive marketplace but in this scenario there's only four of you um there's you and three other beef packers and you're just kind of looking at each other while you're making your thousand dollars a day and thinking why would we ever go back why would we ever increase um increase production again when we can sit back and make this make more money than we ever dreamed of and so that's where we're at. And what they're doing is illegal. Um, and that's a re they always have to have an excuse. Right now their excuse is a labor shortage. Um, last year it was uh, COVID, of course. And then the year before that, there was a little fire that broke out in one of the beef, one beef packing plant in Kansas. And it's just always another excuse. And the, every time the profit margins just get more, they just stretch those profit margins out more and more. And so how do you fix it? Well, what they're doing is illegal. So you need an investigation and charges filed. Um, and so that's where we're at. Uh, Senator Mike Rounds out of South Dakota and a Senator uh, Tina Smith that is a Democrat out of Minnesota. So you have a Republican and Democrat drafted this letter and it's to the Attorney General asking for an investigation. And a number of other senators have signed on to it. Um, my Senator Chuck Grassley is tweeting about asking for an investigation on Twitter the last couple of days. USDA, he wants USDA and Department of Justice to investigate. Um, and that's where we are. We're get we're trying to get as many senators as possible signed on to this letter to demand an investigation into what's going on because their constituents are getting ripped off. And this, I would think that all fifty states, all senators of all fifty states, would want to would could sign on to this bill. This isn't a partisan issue. This isn't about ideology or party loyalty or any of that stuff. If 
I would think that if your constituents are going to the grocery store to buy food and getting ripped off, then you would you would have no problem signing on to this letter. And so what we really need is public awareness and to get the word out. And this has really become just a beef crisis, a crisis in the industry right now. And so there is really no reason, if we're trying to get this word out, this should be the cover story on every farm media publication. Um, you know, Farm Journal, Progressive Farmer, Drovers, you know, beef today, all, if, if we're actually having a, if this crisis is going on, cattlemen are losing money, beef packers are making record margins, I mean, this should be really a mainstream media story, there's, on CNBC, there's a commodities report every day, on Fox Business, there's a commodities report every day, if, but if our own ag media won't cover this, and won't give this the urgency that it deserves, why would anybody else care? Why would the attorney general care? And and how would the public ever even know that it's happening? You know, a lot of them, you just go to the store, you buy the, you pay the prices, or if you look at your beef price and it's too high, then you go down and buy chicken or pork or something else. And so what we really need is public awareness right now, because if it doesn't get fixed, what's going to happen is a lot of good people are going to lose their jobs, lose their businesses, and really and eventually we'll just lose a complete way of life um, that's really important to to the rural America and the other on the other end of that if it doesn't get fixed um, and you want to go and you enjoy grilling steaks every once in a while every time you fire that grill up you'd better just be ready to pay 30 bucks a pound for the steaks you're buying <laughs>